How do you feel about fate? Or how do you feel about letting fate take its course with a partner coming into your life versus putting yourself out there more? Is there such a thing as trying too hard or thinking too much about it or not putting yourself out there enough? I've always felt true love will come my way whether I'm at a grocery store or at a party simply because it's meant to be. I've been single for a long time and I kind of feel like I'm still learning a lot, working on myself so I'm fine with it. But also, I wonder if I should be trying harder. Thank you for all the work you put in. I learned a lot from your channel, especially after heartbreak. Okay, thank you for the question. It's a very good question. So um, I have to find it and I'll maybe just repost it as an oldie but goodie because I think it's valuable information and it's a valuable perspective, right? I don't, I mean, all of these are just my perspectives. This channel is just my perspective on things, right? I don't, I don't know everything, but the things I know, I believe, I believe it off my heart. Um, fate is a neutral party. And I think that's the title of the video I might've done four or five years ago. Fate is a neutral party, okay? Fate. It doesn't necessarily give a damn about whether or not the things you want are manifested in your life. You create your thought, you create your reality through your thoughts, actions, and beliefs, and decisions, and your choices, right? Every day you have a chance, and you have a choice, right? Whether or not you take advantage of that chance and choice every day is, is completely up to you. Fate can only work with what you give it, okay? They, they say, um, you know, in the, in the Christian world, they say, uh, faith without works is dead, right? Works without, works without faith is dead, right? So you have to think as you do. Right? Those things have to be in parallel, right? So what you want to manifest, you have to contribute to through your actions, through your decisions, through your thoughts, through your beliefs, all being in alignment with each other. So what you want to manifest, what you hope to manifest, needs to be supported by your decisions and by your actions, okay? I meet a lot of people who are afraid to take action on what they want, right? And we find all different types of reasons not to take action. We find a lot of different reasons uh, to, to sit still. Right? We say we're waiting on God. We say what's, what's for me to be mine, which is true enough, right? But you're supposed to sit in peace, right? And, and faith knowing that what you want will, will manifest, but only after you've contributed to it, right? You're supposed to do the work, right? And separate yourself from the, res the result. The, the, the concept is, is, is manifest through your actions, through your choices, through your decisions, right? Through your daily contributions toward what you want, toward your goals, toward your fantasies, right? Toward your dreams. Manifest through your decisions and through your actions these things, right? And then wait on the results to come, knowing that you're doing the work. You're putting that energy out there. You're giving it back to God or to the universe in your action, right? In your dedication. Your faith is actually the action that you take uh, towards your goals, right? We think faith is the thought that, okay, I want this thing. I'm going to have it. That's not necessarily faith. It's too simple to say, well, I want this thing. It should come to me. Right? That's not actually giving faith because if you're afraid to do the work for it, then you don't believe it's going to come. Right? You can't have faith and be afraid to commit action. That's, that's the very opposite of faith. Right? That's why I say faith without works is dead. Because if you did have faith, if you did believe, then you would be working toward it. You wouldn't be trying not to over leverage yourself or, or give too much to this particular idea in fear of it not coming true. Because you cannot believe a thing isn't going to come true if you work too hard for it while also waiting for it to manifest and fall out of the sky. That's not how manifestation works. That's not how faith works. Uh, so for me, um, yes, we're supposed to sit in peace knowing that what we've asked God for, the universe for, what we're trying to manifest and will come, but we're also supposed to be able to do the work. We're also supposed to be able to contribute something to that goal. If we don't contribute something to that goal, then we're going to act, we're, we're pretty much asking for it not to happen. We're asking for these things not to manifest because we're refusing to work toward them. If I want $100, if I want $1,000, if I want to pay my mortgage next month, then I have to do something toward that, right? I believe that God is going to provide that. But I also believe that if I don't get off my ass and go do something about my dreams, my goals and my ambitions or my bills, then I'm probably going to fall short on my bills, right? So I work with faith that my works will manifest what I hope, right? So that's how we use uh, faith. That's how we wait on God, so to speak. You contribute uh, and you commit to this thing that you're trying to manifest by giving it all you have. You do what you can and let God or the universe or whatever deity you believe in do the rest. That's how you. That's how faith works. That's how waiting on God works, right? Um, there are a lot of self-help books uh, based on the concept of you know, giving your all to a thing and, and disconnecting yourself from the result, right? So do the work, forget about the results, just just grind hard, just go, just push, right? Uh, so yes, waiting on something in patience and in peace 
personal peace is absolutely important. It's extremely important. But if you're just waiting, then you're just sitting on your ass, right? Whether that be literally, physically, intellectually, figuratively, emotionally, energetically, mentally, if you're not committing your actions to it, then you don't believe it's yours. You're too afraid to not get your energy back. You're too afraid for it not to happen for, to commit any action toward it. The only reason you don't commit action to it, you don't want to work too hard for it, is because you don't believe that that work will manifest your, your beliefs or goals. What what thing can be manifested without some commitment toward action, right? Every once in a while, we see people get lucky. Things fall from the sky. Things drop out of the heavens, right? But for the most part, even when that has happened, these people have worked all their lives. They've, these people have experienced, they've, they've, they've suffered in some way toward these goals, right? We always see the result. Everybody's looking at the result, right? I seen a meme and I posted a meme last month that said it was two desks. One desk had a person sitting there with a sign above it said, uh, people who want to be rich. And uh, like I said, it was a line, thousands of people there. And then uh, right next to that desk was a person that uh, with a sign above their head that said, people who want to do what it takes to be rich. And there were no people in line. It was like one or two people in line. And that's kind of how people treat their dreams, their goals, right? Their ambitions. Everybody wants it. Everybody wants the result of healthy love, but they don't want to contribute, you know, the, the rejection to healthy love. They don't want to contribute, uh, the, 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 the time it takes to build, you know, healthy love, right? We already want to, we just want to jump into a relationship, meet somebody we have butterflies for, already like them, have it done for us, have kind of done for us by the universe love and it be healthy. We don't want to get to know people. We don't want to build and enter a, a, a connection with them. We don't want to. We don't want to learn about them. We don't want to grow to to be attracted to them in time. Uh, we don't want to wait for sexual gratification. We all want these healthy relationships, but nobody. I mean, I mean, I'm talking to people. I'm talking to thousands of women a year. Nobody is even the women sometimes aren't willing to do the work. As soon as there's some butterflies or some feelings, we want to. We want to fabricate the rest of the experience. And love is actually a long term process. Uh, unfortunately enough, in social media, everything is microwaved and everything is done for you and right now. So we're used to that and we want that for love. But that cannot be manifested. And it doesn't give a damn about what technology has done for you and how we uh, uh, approach relationships. Love still takes time. Right. That's just how it is. Uh, it can't be changed based on the technolo technological advance. You have to be willing to do the work for love um, in the same way. Uh, you know, whether you want riches, whether you want love, whether you want, uh, you know, your finances, you have to be able to do the work. You have to be willing to fail. Right. You have to be willing to to uh, try. You have to be willing to over leverage, to be rejected, to to land on your face. Right. You manifest your dreams and goals by not being afraid of the work portion. We all look at the result of work the result of what it takes to build healthy love, right? The result of heartbreak, the result of communication, the result of years and years of suffering, of, of going through, of, 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 of trying and failing. And every, everybody who has the, has the alleles of work, everybody who has the cars, the relationship, the homes, the money, the bank accounts, we say, man, I want that. And again, the line to do what it takes to receive those things or achieve those things is so short that 99% of people don't even take the advice. Even if I told you everything that you needed to do verbatim, I'm like, exactly. If there was like this golden rule book that you could follow sent to us by God, most people wouldn't go through all the steps. They would just hope for, for the, to manifest the, the, the gold at the end of the tunnel. Uh, that's just the hu human nature. So you have to pull yourself from this idea or human nature, uh, the portion of your nature that, that tells you uh, it would be stupid for you to, to put yourself out there. It's stupid for you to be intentional about, you know, meeting people. It's stupid for you to be you know smiling at a stranger because he might not like you. It's stupid for you to look desperate uh, to a stranger because you seem to be too inviting. It's stupid for you to call or it's stupid for you to text or it's stupid for you to tell a guy, hey, you know, think you're handsome. You know, or stupid for you to receive a man's compliment if, if you don't yet have a crush on him uh, in a way that maybe let, lets him know he's he's able to approach. There's all these different things that we're, we're too afraid to do. And we lean on our fears by acting like, oh, well, I'm just waiting for fate. I'm not going to I'm not going to over leverage myself. Fate has its place. Uh, but fate's place definitely is behind effort. It's behind choice. It's behind decisions. It's not in front of. Uh, you don't manifest anything without uh, some some investment of self. And so, um, I guess this is a you know a, a, for me a, I guess a perspective on manifestation of fate. Uh, 
but yes, you can have love, you can have riches, you can have everything you want, but you're going to have to work.